Hello friends. So today we're going to discuss two problems from the comment or series I've been working on. And these two problems are very similar to each other, but they also required some sort of combinatorics, and also they have modular arithmetic. So I have already uploaded or linked the modular arithmetic video. I have already posted. So I have linked this in this series so that you can first watch that video, so that you can get familiar how to do modular arithmetics, and then you can watch both of these, like this video, which consists of both of these questions, so that you can get a clear intuition how to calculate the number of ways. So there can be a lot of techniques to count out the number of ways. So I will be going through all of them. And if I find out some similar questions, I will pair them in the single video such that you will get clear hints to see the similarity between these types of questions. So uh, we're going to directly dive into the questions. And then if you still have any doubts, uh, you can mention it in the comment box. And if you like these explanations, you can hit the like button. And uh, uh, let's start the first question. Uh, we're going to start this question first, which is the chocolate. So as you can see, Bob loves everything sweet. His favorite chocolate bar consisting of this pieces. So let's assume that you have some chocolate bar and the chocolate bar consisting of nuts. Okay, so as you can see, this is a chocolate bar of length three and there is nut as you can see nut is represented by one and Bob wants to break the bar of this chocolate into multiple pieces. So you have to cut the chocolate into number of pieces such that each piece or the each part after cutting out has exactly one nut. Okay, so as you can see in this, you can cut it out at this point or this point at any point you want, but in the end, it should have at least one nut or oh, sorry, exactly one nut. So you can see from this example, as you can see in this, you can cut at this point and this point so that these, these all of these three like cut part of the candy whole uh, chocolate, you can say has one nut. If you cut like this, it has one nut, one nut, one nut and every of the three parts. So you have to find out the number of ways to cut this chocolate such that you can get exactly one nut in each part. So that's the whole problem. You can pause down this video and you can like try to like solve this question. The link is in the description of this video. So uh, the main intuition or the main thing you can understand from this question is let's assume I have some chocolate like this. Now you want that every piece every piece you want has exactly one cut so can i take this piece one length can i take this piece okay can i like it means that i can cut at this point so that this part has only one candy i can cut at this part so that only this part has one candy i cannot cut at this part because if i cut at this part this whole part will have like like two candies but i if i cut at this part like this this part can have one candy and I if I cut now if I cut at this part this part has one candy yeah, more so what you can easily observe in this problem is like how many ways I can cut this candy like how many ways I can cut uh, if I like somehow make this something like this one zero 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 one if this is a candy I can kind of cut at this point and this part and this part has one one candy i can cut at this part now these two parts has two candies okay if i cut to one more time then at least one part will be there which has no candy and thus the number of ones will tell us how many parts i will have to cut okay now if i cut at this point like let's assume this then it is also fine and if i cut at this point it is also fine so as you can see the number of zeros between any two consecutive ones will tell us how many cuts I can do. Now similarly if I have like this I can do one more cut. So as you can see I can do one cut in this part and I can do one cut in this part. And so if as you can see this is like just I am choosing one cut at this point one cut at this point. So every portion of zeros consecutive zeros between two consecutive ones will be having some position to cut as you can see how many cuts I can do 1 2 3 4. So the number of zeros plus 1 the number of zeros plus 1 that's the number of cut I can do and if I can do 4 cuts here and 4 cuts here the total number of cuts I can do is equal to 16. I hope you get the point because see for one part and the other part we have to multiply to get the total number of cuts I can do because see for individually because you can assume that it's like if I have to fill two numbers 7 and 8 I can put 7 here and 8 here I can put like 7 here 
like eight here and seven here so like if i have four numbers here and four numbers here how many total two number pairs i can form i can put one two one three one four one five then for second i can put two two one two two and so on okay so that's the number of ways so for every first number you have to you have four options for the next four into four which is 16 and thus the logic for this problem is just count out the number of zeros between every two consecutive ones and add one to it and multiply all of them but as a number cannot be too large you don't require any modulus you just have to store the answer in long long and just do the multiplication and that's the whole logic but as you can see in this there is no one in the start so there is only one way to cut this because there is one nut there is only one nut so you have to just put it in the one this whole candy because if you just put one cut then the other part will have zero can zero nuts also if there is no nut in the whole bar which is everything is zero then the answer is obviously zero you cannot do any cut uh, like there is no possible answer or there is no possible part which has at least one cut so i'll take it on to the code part now so as you can see this is the code in which take the input of n and the whole candy itself first find out total number of total nuts in there so i have calculated total number of nuts if the total number of nuts is zero then answer is zero obviously because there is no nut so no part or no candy is there which has at least like zero uh, like one nut at least uh, one nut exactly sorry and else what i can do i can keep track of the last nut position and the current position so i have used tag for this because tag will store the last position and the current position i am on so move from left to right and store the position whenever i found one nut I will check that whether I have some previous one stored in the stack. If it is the stack is not empty, what I will find out the distance between them. The distance between them is the previous uh, nut position, which is one, and the current nut position. Number of zeros will be the subtraction of these two. So I subtract these two, find out the difference between the number of zeros between them, and then the answer is just multiplication of this in answer, which is like keep on multiplication, multiplying this total number of zeros between every two consecutive ones, and then push the current one position such that i for this current position i can find out the next current position now one position and that's the answer for this problem okay now move on to the next question the next question is also similar you can try it out uh, it's a little bit hard but both of the problems has a difficulty level of 1300 this and this also so okay let's start this problem uh this problem has so what does this problem say is that you are given some permutation as you can see as you can see that you are given some permutation and in this permutation you have to do two things you have to divide this permutation into disjoint sets like the same in the previous question you have to divide this into disjoint sets such that you have to for every set you have to find out the partition value for every partition so as you can see if i have some uh, let's assume that i have some set some permutation as you can see now if you divide like this okay if you divide like this the partition value of this permutation after dividing in this particular format is you have to do an addition over the maximum of every set so like this set consists of some numbers as you can see if if it is like this this permutation is like this 2 3 4 5 and 6 then the maximum of this set because i have taken uh, the permutation or cut in this format the the maximum of this set is 5 maximum of this set is 4 maximum of this set is 6 so as you can see the total is uh, this is 10 and this is 15 so as you can see okay so what they mean is you have to find out the cuts at which position you can do the cuts such that you can get the maximum possible sum so this is the maximum possible sum which is 15 okay if you get the maximum possible sum in this permutation how like at what positions you can cut and how many cuts which means that how many possible partitions has the same value as the maximum one it, it might seem confusing to you but the question in simple terms is you are given some permutation and you have to do some particular cuts in this permutation like maybe this cut can be of this format you can do a cut like this you can do a cut like this you can do a cut like this these are the cuts these are the parts such that if you do these cuts you have to find out the maximum possible and you are also given k which is which means that what is the number of cuts you can do in this partition in this permutation if you do these k cuts what is the maximum partition value you can get partition value is the summation of the maximum value of every partition and 
because it can also happen that there are more than one partition which give the maximum partition value so you have to also find out the number of partitions which give equal to the maximum partition value so you can pause down this video read that question again if you want and then try to solve it it's just the same as the previous question i have solved so what you can observe in this question is first is what is the maximum value so the maximum value is see if i have uh, let's assume this is the uh 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is the partitions let's assume so if i want to do let's assume like two partitions if i want to do two partitions i want that my every partition has the maximum value if because the the summation of the maximum value of every partition is the answer okay so why don't we take the maximum key values the maximum key value from the last because every number in this is a permutation from 1 till 6 this is a permutation from 1 to 6 and thus if i want a k if i want to make two cuts as that if i do two cuts the two partitions should have the maximum value i should do the cuts like this such that the because the maximum value of this permutation is 6 and the next maximum is 5 so the so the maximum possible partition sum i can get is 6 plus 5 which is 11 how i can get i can do a partition like this if i cut like this if i if i do a cut like this then what you can see uh, okay if k is equal to 1 only let's assume that i can do a cut of 1 then if i do a cut of 1 as you can see this is 5 and this is 6 which means that this is one uh, partition this is another partition and thus the total summation of this is equal to like 11 as you can see this and as you can see if i do a cut at this position also then also these partition and these two partition the maximum is 6 and 5 again so the total maximum sum of this partition is 11 again so then if you do a partition at this point or this point so what does you actually see here is you if you know that if i want the maximum sum of the partitions i will choose the maximum k minus 1 terms from the last uh, okay so if i want like uh, k equal to 1 sorry then i will choose k plus 1 terms from the last which means two terms because those sum will be the maximum partitions and how i can do the partitions if i know that i will choose the last two digits the last two digits will be 5 and 6 and if i store the position of 5 and 6 i can find out how many numbers are there in between because for all the numbers in between i can put a partition it's just like this you can assume that this is a nut in the previous question and these are zeros and i can put z like one or oh sorry partition at these points so i'll back just wait yeah so as you can see you can assume that these are nuts and these are the zero parts and you have to put a cut at this point it's just the same because you are forming sets different uh, like partitions so as you can assume in this problem is you have to store out the position of these positions which you will do the summation if you are doing a summation of let's assume if you're doing a partition of k equal to one it means that you have to store two last two characters in which if you show the index of these characters let's assume if you want to store three characters then you will show the position of this also you just have to store the position of these characters and then after storing out the position what you will do you will find out the number of zeros between them and if you find out the number of zeros between them zeros plus one will give you the total number of position of cut and the multiplication of all of these cuts will give you the final answer it's just the same as this question previous question i have done you can correlate it between them i'll take down to the code part now to make it even more clear so as you can see the question statement uh, you will take the number of n and k number of cuts this is the number of the total numbers you will take b will help us to store the indexes of the numbers which we are adding the maximum numbers total is the total number of count of the final answer will print which is the total uh, of the addition of the last k numbers x equal to n c equal to 0 uh, these are just used to print out the last k numbers from a permutation of 1 till n and that's the total number of maximum answer i can get and then other will help us to store out so now i want the index 
of the last key digits so what i can do i can iterate from left to right and whenever i found out that a of i is greater than other other means that so see i want the index of all the numbers let's assume k is equal to 2 and uh, which means that i have to take the last two digits and my n is equal to 5 which means that i have computation of five numbers then i will take the index of all the numbers which are greater than equal to 4 because 4 and 5 are the two numbers and thus i will push back the index of all of those numbers sort them out after sorting them out what i will do i will find out the difference between the two consecutive uh, the consecutive digits or indexes such that those are total number of zeros i can put and i can put a cut at this position and do a multiplication of all of those numbers also because the number can be very large as you can see in this problem we have to do a mod with this number okay so uh, i have already uploaded a video how to do a modular multiplication such that you don't go overflow and this is the multiplication function i have already used so you can check out this video and in this multiplication video what i can do or this multiplication function this multiplication function will take a mod with this number from the question itself and this multiplication function will do a mod of the multiplication of a and b and this is the modular function itself and thus it's very simple to do multiplication of two numbers so we'll do a multiplication of the number itself which is total base into the difference between the consecutive indices of the number i want and that's the total the final answer is the total which is the total maximum sum of the last key digits and the total base is the total number of ways such that i can get the maximum this value in how many permutations i can get a number of cuts i can get and i hope you understand both the logics and the problem itself so these are similar problems that why i put this in this video and more videos are coming soon so stay tuned i'll see next one keep keep coding bye